Do you ever think to yourself, I'd like to do something with my life that counts? I'd like to do something that matters. I'd like to do something that means more, gives me purpose to my life. I struggled with that for a long time. And in around 2018, I started advocating for mental health. I did something and it gave me purpose. And I don't know 100% for sure if it's what I'm supposed to be doing. No one's, no big voice from the heavens has reached down and said, Matthew, this is what you're supposed to be doing with your life. <laughs> but it's my biggest idea and that's what I'm trying to do. It's, uh, and it gives me purpose. I don't have every second of my day taken up by things to do, but I, it gives me direction. And I often think throughout the day, well, what am I supposed to be doing today? Well, I should be doing this, 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 or this related to mental health and helping other people. There is a TED Talk by Martin Seligman called The New Era of Positive Psychology, and they say right in there, it's scientifically proven that the best predictor of long-term life satisfaction is helping other people or philanthropy, helping the environment, helping animals, whatever, giving back, being of service to something larger than yourself. That's the best predictor of long-term life satisfaction. And it's something we can all do. I mean, some of us are struggling. I struggled with, with year, for years with schizophrenia. I, I read books on how I could help other people. I couldn't put those into action for a long time, for years. But I could read about it. That's something I could do, even though I couldn't take as much action as I wanted. If you're struggling to think about uh, how you would get into this, there's a book called uh, Click Millionaires by Scott Fox. He gives a lot of... Uh, he says you don't have to be a millionaire. You can simply make... $40,000 doing things that you love to make uh, to pay the bills and and instead of doing a job that you don't want to do you get to do what you want to do so I recommend reading that book he says you can have a blog or a website up for free in minutes you can have social media up for free in minutes you can have a YouTube channel up for free in minutes simply start speaking writing talking into a camera about what what you have to say people think well I don't have a message I don't know how I could help other people well, start thinking about things that you talk about a lot. What do you talk about in conversations with other people? What do you go on and on and on about? <laughs> what riles you up? What, uh, what entertains you? I mean, if, if, you, uh, if you don't know how to help other people, can you give other, other people a laugh? Humor is so important. COVID proved that to me um, when the pandemic happened in 2020. I was like, please, somebody make me laugh. <laughs> I needed a laugh, and I have a whole new appreciation for humor now because of the pandemic. So try making people laugh. Put it up on YouTube. See if you can make people laugh. I've got a joke challenge on YouTube. I challenge people to make jokes. Uh, we all have a sense of humor, but how often do you go out of your way to make other people laugh? How often do you tell jokes? How, how, many, how often do you do that? We could all try to do that more often, I think. And I know it's difficult for some people because their lives are really difficult and it's hard to see the humor I couldn't see the humor in my life for a, for years so anyway there's there's lots of things you can do to help other people there's and uh, I went through life the first 20 years or so of my life before I got schizophrenia thinking you know I knew I knew life could be bad but for the most part I thought people were having people were enjoying life like I was and I didn't realize that so many people are suffering in countries all over the world, every single country. There's people having, a lot of people having a really hard time or somewhat hard time on the spectrum somewhere. And people need help. People really do. And uh, there's a Scott, uh, Scott Harrison of CharityWater.org. He has a quote that he talks about a lot. And it's, uh, it says, do not be afraid of work that has no end. Don't think that you can't make a difference, so why bother trying? It, it, that Don't think that you are such a small person in this tiny, tiny, or such a small person in this vast, vast world that how could you possibly create any change or help anybody? Well, don't be afraid of work that has no end because there's, there's so much that needs to be done. Don't be afraid of it. Just simply dig in and do your part. Jane Goodall, the, the environmental advocate, she says, it's like a tapestry, and we're all, we all, each one of us is like a little string in that tapestry, a little woven thread. And if we stop doing our parts, well, that tapestry starts to look tattered. 
We all need to get up and do things. All we're asked as human beings is to contribute to our community. That's all we're asked. Contribute to our community. Help out where it's needed so we can earn our earn our bread and butter. <laughs> so it's, uh, I know when, uh, who was it, another guy, uh, he said, uh, Jack Lalanne, the uh, father, grandfather of physical fitness, he said the longest retirement should be about two weeks. It, I mean, it's nice to spend time on relaxing activities, entertaining activities, but I don't know. I'm I'm I, I I'm definitely not for working too hard that you burn yourself out. I'm not for that. But I think there's a, a fine balance no, no matter what your age of of helping other people, contributing to your community, however that looks, and taking time for yourself too to to enjoy a golf game. Not maybe golfing every single day all the time. Um, for pe- for some people, that's what you want to do. That's fine. I, you can't uh, you can't get mad at people for doing what they want to do in life. It's it's a free world. We can do whatever we want in in some countries, and I'm just encouraging people to 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 help out more to to do something because it makes you feel good. Like Martin Seligman says, it's the best predictor of long term life satisfaction. Do something that counts instead of thinking what should I do with my life because so many of us think that I thought that for so long I wonder what I should do with my life and you drift through years and decades of doing things that you're not really fully invested in and if you can pick something uh, another guy Harv Ecker he's a, a financial expert he says try something try it's like trying on suits you don't walk in and buy the very first suit you try on you try a suit walk around it for a bit see how it feels take it home wear it for a few days and try that uh, do that with things that you might be interested in things that because if you don't know what you want to do that's something that might help you uh, do something for a little bit see how it feels you may gain some valuable skills doing that volunteering for a certain charity or, or helping out some somewhere you might build some people skills do th- uh, just try things for a bit eventually you might f- uh, find something that, that really fits so anyway that's uh that's my advice for now, and I hope this has helped to some of you. I know a lot of us are thinking, I, I just don't know what I should do with my life. So there's lots of books. There's so many books on this that you can read. Articles online, podcasts, TV, or videos videos on YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, bye for now.